My name is Jennifer Cologne. When I first had a passion for action sports, um, I had just been coming off of a really bad breakup. Um, and I was self-medicating with drugs and alcohol. And I realized that that was not a, a healthy way I wanted to survive. And that I had two different routes I could have taken. And one was really destructive. And so I needed to find something or anything that I couldn't relate back to this guy who had just completely destroyed my life. Um, and so I know that my dad and my brother were into whitewater kayaking when they were younger. And we had all the material for it. We had all the gear for it. So I was like, all right, there's a rolling class on Meetup. I'll meet some new people and it's something to do. And I just struggled and struggled. And these three guys took me under their wing and they introduced themselves. And it was like the first time in months that I remember like laughing and like having like a genuinely good time and like not wanting to have to like fake anything and just like just be this genuine person that I had lost. The first time I ever went down on the river, very first rapid, I flipped over and swam. Got back in my boat and swam about three more times that day. But the hardest rapid, which is a class two plus on that river, I did not swim on and everyone cheered. And it was like <laughs> this awesome, fun, exhilarating like moments. I never felt anything like that. Like here it was something that I was going after on my own and like just had a natural ability to do it and I wasn't afraid of it and um, part of that was because I didn't really care what happened to me I just wanted to feel something and um, it like ignited this spark in me that I was like oh well that's that feeling <laughs> like I want to keep feeling that over and over and over again and I just want to keep going after the next thing so I did uh, the very first day I ever got in a whitewater kayak, it ended up changing my entire trajectory of my life. If I thought it was just this thing that I was getting into as a distraction. I did not realize at the time that whitewater was going to save me and like end up getting me to where I'm living now in Tennessee, um, introduced me to not only my best friend, but my soulmate, my, the guy I'm dating now. Um, every single thing where my life is now is because of kayaking and getting into that boat that one day. Like having that accomplishment feeling of doing something that purely was my decision. Like no one steered me to kayaking. No one put a paddle in my hand. Nobody told me like, do this thing and I'll be proud of you. It was like, I'm picking up this thing because I don't have any other options. And then I did really, really well with it. And it was this amazing thing. And it's so proud. Like, I was so proud of myself and I never gave up. I never was discouraged from it until 2017. Um, it was just something that I owned and that gave me that confidence that I needed to take control of my own life. So one day I went out on a class three run, something really easy that I should have been able to do with my eyes closed and I swam and I swam in a faulty dry suit. And I felt like I was sinking to the bottom and I couldn't keep my head above water. And it was enough to scare me half to death. And then in May of the following year, my best friend ended up being involved in a tragedy on a river. And that was really, really hard. Uh, when I got that phone call, my friend was still in shock. And having to listen to the details that he had experienced of feeling broken bones as you're trying to take someone out of a kayak that's underwater, feeling clumps of their hair in your hand as you try to just grab anything you can to get them out. Being part of that experience, but on the outside of it, knowing that someone like me could cause that to somebody I loved and cared about is just something I never wanted to be part of. I couldn't put anyone I loved through what my friend had gone through. So I decided that it was best for me to still have involvement by being in the outdoor community, but maybe not be doing the things that I was doing in the extreme sense that I started to do them in. And it's because I actually loved my life and I didn't want to do anything that was going to put me in jeopardy of missing out on this awesome life I built for myself. So I stopped. Uh, I had too much to lose. Um, the risk versus reward just wasn't there for me anymore. So. Um, where I have an outdoor industry job now because of kayaking and 99% of the people I surround myself are because of the kayaking community. It's just not an element that's in my life right now, hopefully temporarily. <laughs>
feel at this point in my life that I am in the best place I've been in in my entire life. 